And what I found was really quite striking. This group of women and children who have been kept in the equivalent of indefinite detention, that is, not knowing when or if they're going to be released, when or if they are going to be deported, are horrifically traumatized by these experiences. We are causing harm by, ca by keeping these women and children, many of whom, most of whom, fled, not because they wanted to, but, as one woman said to me, because they had no choice. They were fleeing for their lives. And the women who are now on the hunger strike, many of whom I, I spoke to consistently, every one of them said they are doing this not for themselves, but for their children for the safety. I mean, it reminds me, you know, back in the 80s, we know about the women, the mothers of Plaza de Mayo, mm -hmm. mothers in Argentina who went to a protest for their ch children who had been disappeared as part of the dirty wars. These really are the, mo the mothers of Burks, in a sense, are the these latter-day mother heroes of our time. Before